Hey guys, this is going to be a video on how to update the Cyclops Tornado OSD. Today we're going to be updating to version 1.02. Some of the things you're going to need is a 3 cell LiPo charged up to at least 12 volts to make this work. You're going to need your USB programming tool. And you're going to have to first start out with programming the AHRS port. And you're also going to have to find the AHRS file and you can probably find that on the RC groups forum and I just keep it in a little file mark first step and once you download your update here here's version 1.02 and now that we have this we need to I just go ahead and just move the tornado AHRS updater into here so now it's in here with the CYC dot DLL file so now it'll work so now what we want to do is take our 12 volt source take and plug it up now it's powered on now we're going to take our USB cable and we're going to plug it into our flight controller. Now we're going to start the Tornado AHRS updater. We're going to go over here to update. We'll hit yes. Wait a few seconds. And she'll start updating. Our updating tool is flashing. The little blue light went off on our flight controller. And we're updating, updating, updating. Okay. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna unplug our USB cable, and move our tool over to the flight controller port, and just go ahead and uh, disconnect my USB cable there on that side. And all right, our 12 volt, volt source is plugged up. USB cables connected and now we're going to go to the flight controller updater 1.02 hit update okay we'll wait a few seconds start updating this one's going to take a little bit longer than the first one so meanwhile I guess if Extra Line's going to be watching this, or if he does see this video, please do the uh, milliamp hour consumption update. We need more milliamp hours. You know, 10 or 9,050, that ain't going to cut it. Or 9,550 or whatever it is, 99. I don't know. But uh, we need at least like 15, 20,000 milliamps. You know. And auto circle would be really nice, but can't really complain. This controller works pretty awesome. So, we are going, 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 going. And you must do this on a flat surface. And when you install it in your plane, make sure the first time you power it up. It, your your level. Let's go ahead and put a little leveler on there, a little bubble leveler or something on there. Make sure you're level, then power it up, and you should see the that calibration screen pop up, and then you should be good. Right. We're almost done. Almost done. Alright, 
that's it. So can't wait till the new or the next one comes out. Hopefully, it'll maybe uh, extra line to think about the uh, imperial instead of the metric. You know, so some of the other users can enjoy that feature. Till then, thanks for watching. Bye.